After the PT-878 has been powered up, press the menu button to bring up the menu bar at the top of the display screen. Use the right arrow key on the keypad to navigate over and highlight logging. Press the enter button on the keypad with the logging tab highlighted. Use the down arrow key on the keypad to navigate down to the new log function. Press the enter key with the new log function highlighted. This will bring up a new screen with letters and numbers and a title at the top called Create New Log. The meter automatically inputs a default name of Log01. Press the F1 key repeatedly on the keypad which corresponds to the delete function on the bottom of the display. This will delete the name and allow you to create a new name for your log. Use the arrows on the keypad to enter another name for your log by highlighting each letter or number and pressing the enter button on the keypad. Once you have created the name of your log, press the F3 button which corresponds to the OK selection on the bottom of the display screen. This will take you back to the General tab that you will see highlighted at the top of the display screen. Under the General tab, you will need to choose which type of log format you will use. A linear log is for starting and stopping data logging for taking measurement recordings at specific times and specific intervals. This format is a discrete logging program function. A circular log is for starting data logging at a specific time, recording specific intervals until a designated number of records are reached, and then recirculating back to start over again. This format is a continuous logging program function. For this example, we will choose a linear format with a standard type option for the logging parameters. Use the down arrow key on the keypad to navigate down to the Linear Start field. With the Start field highlighted, press the Enter button on the keypad. This will allow you to use the arrow keys on the keypad to change the month, day, and year to start the log recording. When you have programmed your month, day, and year, press the Enter button. This will set the value and the entire date input field will be highlighted. Use the down arrow key on the keypad to navigate down to the end date and time fields. Follow the same procedure you used while setting the start date and time. When the dates and times are programmed for start and end, use the down arrow key on the keypad to highlight the logging interval field. Press the enter button on the keypad and use the number keys on the keypad to input a value in seconds. For this example, we will input 10 seconds. Press the Enter button on the keypad to set the value you have selected. This will return you to the Logging Interval field, which will be highlighted. Use the up arrow key on the keypad to navigate up to the General tab, and then use the right arrow key on the keypad to highlight the Measurements tab at the top menu of the display screen. Press the Enter button on the keypad with the Measurements tab highlighted. This will bring up a page of several input fields that have the title, No Input. Use the down arrow key on the keypad to select the first field and press the enter button on the keypad. This will open the select measurement option screen and you will see on the left hand menu that the velocity measurement is selected. Use the up and down arrow keys on the keypad to select a type of measurement you wish to log. To change a parameter of the unit of measurement selected, press the select button on the keypad to switch over to the right hand menu and use the up and down arrow keys on the keypad to highlight the parameter. You can use the select button on the keypad to switch back over to the measurement unit on the left hand menu if you want to change the measurement type. When you have your measurement unit and parameter selected, press the F3 button on the keypad which corresponds to the OK menu selection at the bottom right hand of the display screen. This will take you back to the Measurements tab where you can select other measurements to log. Repeat this procedure for the number of measurements you would like to take for this log. 
For example, press the down arrow key to select the next No Unit field and press the Enter button on the keypad. Use the down arrow key on the keypad to highlight the temperature measurement. Now press the Select button on the keypad. Use the down arrow key on the keypad to navigate down and highlight the Temperature B Degrees Fahrenheit option. Press the Enter key to set the option and then press the F3 key which corresponds to the OK selection on the bottom right hand of the display screen. Once you have selected all of your measuring parameters to log, press the F3 button which corresponds to the Activate selection on the bottom right of the display screen. You can verify that the meter is logging by looking for a pencil icon in a small display box at the bottom of the display screen.